feel you have the right to use force against me. Bring guns. Hi, I'm Matt Welch for Reason TV. We're here in the Ronald Reagan Building in Washington, D.C. for the world premiere of a movie, Atlas Shrugged Part 2. We're going to talk to people about why they're excited in 2012 about Ayn Rand's ideas. Come on in. What's different about Part 2 from Part 1? The budget doubled from 10 million to 20 million. Um, I'm giving you highlights here, Matt. <laughs> uh, we, we opened up in about 250 theaters, part one. Uh, we're opening up at 850. We looked at it as, here's a way for us to celebrate Ayn Rand's ideas you know, about uh, free markets and individual achievement. And so I think people will see a film that really hits those messages quite well. We got a great cast. If we hadn't had Atlas Shrugged, I think the long drought in the freedom movement between World War II and Ronald Reagan would have lasted a lot, lot longer. We're quite interested in liberty and the Constitution and the Bill of Rights and the wonderful country this could and should be. It's pretty cool because uh, reality looks like fiction right now. You have Obama attacking wealth creation, saying you didn't build that, and, and a lot of these characters come to life, the crony capitalists, and all of that, so it's a great time to see Atlas Shrugged Part 2. The script is crisper, more cinematic, although I think it's also true to the, to the ideas. I read her in college, I was a socialist at the time. My friend who was really to the left of me even, we both read it together, he loved it, and I said, you're out of your mind. So why is Ayn Rand important to you, David Bose? Ayn Rand was one of the first things I read that made me a libertarian. Um, the passion and the ideas and the defense of individual rights, I read it when I was very young and uh, made a real impression on me. I read her when I was in college, which was a surprisingly long time ago, and my dad was a huge fan, and I think it was one of those things that just informed something about, you know, what life is about. And then, obviously, I'm from the Free State Project, and we're building Gulch Gulch. And finally, why do you think she's so enduringly controversial? What is it that uh, rankles people about her? Uh, probably because she was right, and they knew it. Well, she's a tough lady, uh, and she does not, uh, she doesn't give a lot uh, in an argument, and uh, very unyielding, and uh, people don't really appreciate that, especially uh, in these days when you're not supposed to judge. And I feel like uh, Rand did a little bit of judging, and that's okay sometimes. Who or what is John Galt? Is he even a man? Or an idea.